the truth of the matter is, bullying is not on the rise. The media would have you think that it's completely out of control and as soon as you send your child to school, they're going to get thumped. And the fact is, bullying is not occurring any more than it did when I was at school in the 70s and 80s. The reason why we all feel so overwhelmed by bullying at the moment is because cyberbullying. When I was at school, sure, you know, there was cases of bullying, but it pretty much finished once you got off the school bus. But now, it's coming into the homes. So these are some of the possible signs of cyberbullying. If your child seems hesitant or nervous to be online, the browser history on their computer is routinely empty or wiped clean. Seeming anxious when an instant message or text message or an email appears, having trouble sleeping, loss of appetite, excessive moodiness, crying or seeming depressed. From an early age, teach your children and practice with them how to respond to teasing and bullying. Bullies are always pretty much going to be encouraged if their target responds. That's what they want. So having no reaction can help. Okay, so just walking away, not saying anything. One tip that I picked up is that you can say to your kids, particularly little kids, is to say the word so. So let's say somebody comes up to them and says, I just saw your parents' car. Your parents' car is crap, right? And then your child can say, so? It's the equivalent of saying, whatever. Okay, so that's one thing that your children can do. Bullying happens more than once. And when there's bullying, there is an imbalance of power. So there is a difference between what is bullying and what is just normal teasing. And it's important to make sure your children get this because the fact is, in life, you have to get on with things. Sometimes in life, you've got to suck something up, you know, and other times when bullying is really serious, then you do something about it. They have conversations about what bullying behaviour looks like and feels like. This also helps your child from becoming the bully. Really important that your child knows that you will believe them if they tell you. Uh, keep computers and laptops out of bedrooms because what you don't want is at 11 o'clock at night or midnight or 1am, your 16-year-old daughter still in chat rooms or talking to her friends because everybody's afraid to leave the chat room because as soon as they leave, other people start talking about them. Teach your children not to retaliate or reply to online bullying. You need to understand how things like Facebook work, Twitter, um, MySpace, all of it. Explain the importance of not sharing online passwords. If bullying occurs, you can take screen captures or grabs as evidence. If your child is being severely bullied online, you can take screen captures, right, that you can keep on your computer that you could then, if you needed to, take to the police. Although bullying still is not a specific Australian criminal offence, there are some civil and criminal laws that apply to bullying behaviour. If you are being severely bullied and your school will not listen and won't do anything about it, I would have no hesitation in going to the police because you have a right to feel safe. If your child is being bullied, their number one fear is that if they tell you you're going to make it worse. The leading expert, I think, on, on bullying amongst kids in this country is Professor Ken Rigby. And his research has proven that when a school has an anti-bullying program in place, that it does work and it reduces um, the incidences of bullying by about 20%. So schools that have a good anti-bullying program, that can make a difference. Thank you.